Today we're going to be presenting the, our theorist Jean Watson and her theory of human caring by Brooke, Brittany, and Taylor. Jean Watson received her degrees from Colorado in BSN, MS Psychiatric, her graduate studies, and PhD after earning her RN diploma in Virginia. Best known for her development of the theory of human caring and the 10 Caritas process, Jean Watson has gone on to author and co-author over 30 books on caring and numerous nursing journals and articles. Jean Watson has been inspired by her many life experiences, mainly noting when she suffered a traumatic eye injury in a golfing accident in 1997 and lost her left eye. And then a year later, her husband committed suicide. Jean Watson states, it was not until I experienced human caring from my own personal experience from the inside that I understand my own work at another level. Jean Watson is also professor and dean emerita at the University of Colorado and Denver's College of Nursing. Uh, she's held the nation's first endowed chair in caring science for 16 years at the University of Colorado. Jean Watson is a founder of the original Center for Human Caring in Colorado, as well as a fellow of the American Academy of Nursing and National League for Nursing, as well as a former president of the NLN for one year. She's also a founding member, member of International Association in Human Caring and a founder of the International Caritas Consortium. Jean Watson has also won the Living Legend by the American Academy of Nursing at its highest honor. Some of Jean Watson's few accomplishments for her theory of human caring is the Caritas factors, transpersonal caring relationship, and the caring occasion and moment, which served as a blueprint for, prof per for professional nursing practice. Jean Watson has 15 honorary doctor doctoral degrees, including 12 international honorary doctorates, including Sweden, UK, Spain, British Columbia, Canada, Japan, Turkey, Peru, and South America. As I stated, Jean Watson is author and co-author of over 30 books on caring. Her first book was in 1979 by the philosophy called The Philosophy of Caring, and her latest illustration in 2019 is The Spiritual Awakening of a Nurse. Jean Watson received the American Journal of Nursing's Book of the Year Award and has written books on empirical measurements and international research on caring, to new postmodern philosophies of caring and healing. She's also written on philosophy and science of caring and caring science as sacred science, global advance, and caring literacy. Jean Watson has a total of 74 awards. These are some of her awards to mention a few. She became a fellow of the ANA in 1981 as a nursing leader in education man management, practice, and research. Fellows represent association executive, university presidents, chancellors and deans, elected officials, state and federal political appointees, hospital chief executives and vice presidents for nursing, nurse consultants, and researchers and entrepreneurs. She's also gone on in 1978 and won the University Regent Medal and University of Colorado for getting recognized as a person whose achievements and contrib contributions are particularly associated with the university. Jean Watson, as I've mentioned, has also won many honorary doctorates awards from 1985 to 2017. An honorary doctoral degree is often awarded in recognition of one's life experiences and they are often given to those who have either made contributions to a certain field. In 2013, Jean Watson won the Living Legends Award from the American Academy of Nursing, which recognizes a small group of fellows as living legends in honor of their major contributions in the nursing field over their career. Recipients of this esteemed award are honored as living legends in recognition of the multiple contributions they have made to our profession and our society and in recognition of the continuing, continuing impact on these contributions on the provision of healthcare services in the United States and throughout the world. Jean Watson was the president of the National League of Nursing from 1995 to 1996. This is a national organization for faculty nurses and leaders in nurse education. It offers faculty development, networking opportunity, testing services, nursing research grants, and public policy initiatives 
to more than 40,000 individuals and 1,200 education and association members. Jean Watson is known also for her Holistic Nurse of the Year Award in 2010, recognized by AHNA members with outstanding innovation and or a change in the field of holistic nursing. It highlights nurses who have been working in holistic nursing for several years and have demonstrated a commitment towards the holistic nursing core values. In the middle, you can see a picture of an example of the Holistic Nurse of the Year Award. Some of other Jean Watson's awards are two uh, scholarships that honor the Watson's caring, th caring theory. The first one is the Watson Caring Science Scholarship, which was created to allow future nurses to explore their understanding of caring science and continue to contribute to the legacy of scholarly and or participation activities based on Watson's theory of caring science. The second one is the John Matthew Kirtland Five Scholarship, which was created in memory of John Matthew Kirtland Five, whose wife, Crystal Hernandez, a caring science scholar, Caritas coach and faculty of WCSI helped to establish this fund. The picture on the left is the Nightingale Initiative for Global Health Award for Adv Advocacy and Action. This award is given to those whose mission is to inform and empower nurses, healthcare workers, and educators in healthcare. Next, Brooke will go on to continue over the Jean Watson and her theory. So this portion includes several slides that are going to explain in detail Jean Watson's theory, um, which she named the theory of human caring. Um, over the years, this name has been called several others, um, including the theory of transpersonal caring, the caring model, and most recently, the caring science. And there has been other variations using those names as well. So first, just a little background on the theory. Uh, she began developing it in 1975, and it was finally published in 1979. Uh, since then, there have been several additions and revisions that are actually still going on today. Uh, Jean has stated that her work is influenced by several different philosophers, such as uh, Carl Rogers, Maslow, and Florence Nightingale, among others. Um, she's also stated her own life experiences of tragedy and suffering have influenced certain aspects of the theory as well. Um, in fact, Jean has said her personal wounds have been integrated into her life's work, and it's very apparent that Jean's passion for nursing and her passion for caring are the motivators for her theory and probably why it's so successful still today. Okay, moving on. Um, the, major, the three major elements of the theory of human caring is the curative factors and processes, transpersonal caring, and finally the caring moment or the caring occasion. So next we have the human caring model. Um, before explaining Jean's caring model, it's important to understand the general nursing model. The nursing model was developed to describe what exactly nursing is and how is it different from medicine. Medicine is focused on curing disease and ridding of illness. Nursing is more patient focused. It's focused on promoting their health, preventing their illness, um, caring for the sick, and also restoring their health. Jean added to this nursing model and created the caring model. Jean states that the nursing model focuses on health promotion and the treatment of disease. And caring is central to that practice of health promotion. And caring is also better than simply curing. It's not just procedures and tests. It's way beyond that. Caring promotes health and growth in a caring environment um, accepts the patient truly as they are and who and and who they look to that they may become <clears throat> um, and, it, and it helps that person reach 
that version of themselves. So one more thing before we can get to those three major elements um, of the theory. This is the meta paradigm of nursing. First, um, a meta paradigm is a general statement of a discipline that functions as the framework for a theory and its concepts. The nursing meta paradigm identifies four elements of interest specific to nursing. These four links are essential to define in every theory and the theorist defines them based on how they relate to their own theory. The four links of the nursing meta paradigm are person, health, nursing, and environment. And this slide explains how Jean defined them according to the human caring theory. So first we have person or human. And this is defined as <clears throat> a living being, not to be treated as an object, who needs to be nurtured, respected, understood, and cared for. Next, we have health, which is the physical, mental, and social functioning of a high level. Um, it is the absence of illness or the effort to achieve that absence. Nursing is defined as a person of science with the knowledge and experience to provide professional, personal, ethical care. Finally, environment was not actually defined in a simple sentence, but rather defined as part of one of her major concepts um, within her theory, which will be explained next. So finally, we arrive to the first major concept of the theory, which is the 10 curative factors, which are also known as the 10 curitas. In 1975, Jean began developing these curative factors, which started out as simple statements um, to guide nursing practice. As these statements um, began to expand in meaning and Jean continued to develop more and more. They eventually went from the curative factors to constructing the entire theory of caring, which evolved into a multi-concept theory. Um, but these factors are the core of that theory. Curative factors were based on medicine's curative factors. If you remember, Jean wanted to focus on separating medicine from nursing, and nursing is more than just a cure. The word caritas is Greek for to cherish, to appreciate, or to give special attention to. Um, each carita describes specific caring needs that a nurse must provide to a patient. These 10 caritas also went through many additions and revisions, and eventually in 2002, they began to transition these factors. And by 2008, the curative factors became the curative processes. So what are the curative processes? The processes were still based on the factors, but they offered a more spiritual dimension of love and caring, but they were also more specific to applying in nursing practice. This diagram shows the first eight curative processes. If you look, you can see that the arrows are all um, specified in a particular direction. This um, represents that the first three processes were used as a foundation for the concept and then the remaining seven build off of those. These eight character, curative processes, in summary, guide nurses to practice loving kindness, compassion, to be present and authentic, instill hope, gain self-awareness, use caring process to seek creative solutions, develop trust and be supportive, and create a healing environment at all levels at all times. The ninth process is a bit more detail and contains its own subconcept, if you will. 
this process is about human care essentials. And what that is, is to provide basic needs for your patient. Basic needs um, that are physical, emotional, and spiritual. Jean created her own hierarchy of needs based on Maslow's very similar pyramid. This idea um, is a patient must satisfy lower level needs before they can attempt to fulfill the needs of the next level. The first level is the biophysical needs. This is for physical survival, food, water, elimination, oxygen, once these things have been met, the next level can be attempted, which are psychophysical needs of activity, rest, and sexuality. Then you have psychosocial, which is achievement and affiliation. And then finally, the seeking need or self-actualization and personal growth. <clears throat> At the bottom of the screen, you see the 10th and final um, curative process, which I think is particularly special and it's also important. Um, and what it is, is the allowing for miracles to accept that not everything can be explained um, and to allow the chance for the unexpected to occur and to have hope. That slide wrapped up the first major concept um, of the curative factors and processes. So now the second major concept is transpersonal caring, which is much more simple, but still equally important. This concept um, is the relationship between two people. It's usually the nurse to the patient, but it can also include family. And in this relationship, the patient is affected by the nurse, but the nurse is also affected by the patient. There's a union created and a special connection. It describes that how a nurse expresses care and combines that care with scientific knowledge, they're able to achieve homeostasis. It also explains that caring rather than just curing can maintain the nursing model to promote health, prevent illness, and to also restore health. Because without caring, disease may be cured, but illness will still remain. The third and final major concept of Jean Watson's human caring theory is the caring moment or the caring occasion. This concept refers to the literal moment between nurse and patient or nurse and family member or another extension where they come together each with their own phenomena and they meet in a human to human transaction and create an opportunity for caring to occur. And this caring is felt deeply by both the nurse and the patient. This moment is authentic it is intentional and it is meaningful to both parties. They are both able to learn and grow from this, the experience of this caring occasion. So now that there has been an overall understanding of Jean Watson and the theory of human caring, Brittany is going to further explain how it applies to nursing practice and how it is used in research. Jean Watson's theories are used in diverse settings all over the world. Clinical nurses and academic programs use Watson's published books and articles to guide them and transform their practices and to promote healing. Students who are focused and educated on Jean Watson's theories carry those beliefs and values with them throughout their nursing journey. Students who move on to nursing practice after integrating Jean Watson's nursing theories are better able to establish their role in healthcare and realize their unique essentialness. And this is something that not all nurses practice. Not only are facilities and hospitals using Jean's work, but schools all around the country use Jean Watson's theories for educational purposes that teach and inspire the students by implementing caring into their nursing curriculum. And what's really cool is Jean Watson is actually Baker College's nursing theorist. She is 
part of a foundation, uh, part of the foundation of Baker's nursing program, in case some of you were not familiar with that. Nurses who are taught Jean Watson's values in nursing school um, stand out when they provide care to their patients and feel better about the care that they're providing. Nurses have praised Jean Watson and some of their perception, perceptions of her theories are that it helps them to accomplish their goals, improve their patient care, and enhances their attitudes from negative to positive. Nurses have said that her theories have helped them to solidify and strengthen their skills and knowledge, provide them with structure, balance, guidance, and support in their careers, and has helped them unify and integrate nursing as a whole. A more powerful message from the nurses is that they said Jean Watson's theories gives them language to former unspoken beliefs and perspectives of the nursing profession. Jean Watson's theories give, gives nursing a voice and allows for things to be talked about and considered in the nursing career that was maybe overlooked or unheard of in the past. So I found a piece of literature that is written by Dr. Linda Ryan, who was a former RN at the Resurrection Medical Center in Chicago, Illinois. This medical center began utilizing Jean Watson's caring theory in 2003. Basically, the facility wanted to strengthen their practice, and they thought the best way to do that was to implement a nursing theory, so they chose Jean Watson as their theorist. Uh, the leadership team came together and agreed that Jean Watson's theory matched their mission and core values. Part of their mission includes the acronym CARES and stands for Compassion, Accountability, Respect, Excellence, and Service. They decided to permanently implement those theories into their facility, and what they did was actually update their job description for the nurses to now include a statement that the nurses must be competent in both technological skills and the curative factors of the caring theory. After many months of studying and understanding the concepts and factors from Jean Watson's theories, the workers at the Resurrection Medical Facility became completely dedicated and started meeting bi-weekly to read Jean's books and articles. Uh, they would discuss, reflect, and explore her philosophy and the science of caring so that they could better understand and utilize their new corporate nursing philosophy. Jean Watson's theories are even used when the facility interviews their employees by asking them questions related to a caring moment from the past where caring was used. And they have revised their orientation process to include Jean Watson's theories as well. As mentioned earlier, Jean Watson's theories are applied to patient care through the 10 curative factors or processes. A couple ways that the theories are applied are by nurses engaging in their own feelings and emotions within their relationships that they create with their patients, by being open to new spiritual experiences that may be difficult from their own personal preferences and beliefs, and also by always looking after the patient's best interest, and that includes physical and emotional health needs. And what's cool about Jean Watson's 10 curative factors is that when it's applied to the nursing process, it actually utilizes the same steps as the scientific research process by using the acronym ADPI. And ADPI stands for assessment, diagnosis, plan, intervention, and evaluation. Nurses who apply the 10 curative factors when they're giving patient care observe the patient and review their past medical history and come up with a nursing diagnosis or hypothesis. And depending on the patient's case, the nurse will help the patient determine their measurable goals while continuously collecting data from and about the patient. Nurses will also implement the plan of care and any other interventions needed to care for the patient directly and indirectly. And then finally, nurses continue to analyze the patient and interpret their information. So today, Jean Watson is still alive and well and is a resident of Boulder, Colorado. She stays busy traveling with a team of people all over the world, and they educate, prepare, and transform newer generations of nurses and healthcare workers. Jean attends seminars, training programs, and workshops, and spreads her knowledge and experiences with all who attend. Her experiences, philosophies, theories, and practice are shared with individuals in hopes of empowering and inspiring the nurses to honestly and compassionately care for their patients and to promote healing.
Gene is known to help reduce nurse turnover and to help facilities save money within their organizations. These are our references and that concludes our presentation.